All right, thank you for sticking with us here, Saints Nation. We're about to get ready with game number two here of the second match of the night. Of course, it's going to be um, going to be the Moscow Search and Destroy. Oddly enough, I don't really see this map picked very often for Search, so this is kind of interesting. Looking forward to seeing what the Saints and Concordia, respectively, can pull off on this map. And right away, Priestley is going to find himself the first elimination right onto Big Nutter Butter, who is carrying the bomb at the time, so get him off the play. And of course, no respawns here in these Search and Destroy matchups. So they're looking to maybe do a switcher here as Wonks is now going to be the one carrying the bomb. Looking maybe to make a play towards B. Still has quite the ways of the traverse. It's going to be Priestley getting taken down, however. That's going to be uh, Python finds himself at elimination here. And that round, shots fired by Lavelle, did find Wonks, who is heading towards that B site. So he might be able to uh, call that out, rotate on over. He's going to be in the actual site itself. Looking to see if Wonks wants to jump through the window. Sauce going to catch Python. And now we have ourselves the two on three. Make that a 1v3, as it's going to be Lavelle in the proper position right on target. And then it's going to see it looks like maybe sauce nato is going to run into uh dx hunter he's going to get taken down but it did call out his position and i think that's brandon going to be able to hop on in and clean that one up st Clair going to start off this search and destroy right taking that first round Now, of course, Saints turn to attack for this time by. Oftentimes, when we did see the few times that we were on search on this map, I think we did see a lot more A play compared to B. It's a little bit easier to access. A little bit fairer gunfights, I suppose. Because, to be fair, there is some pretty long sight lines down towards that B site. We have Priestley and Brandon, who's going to be the first ones to get close here. Looks for the outside angle. Does find another butter. Going to go down, but Brandon's going to be right there at the refrag. Bomb is going to be in his hands. I know it's going to be in Sosnado's hands, who's getting constantly peppered here. As Lavelle finds himself too, actually. <coughs> Just not expecting this. Again, like I was saying in the last game, usually when I think of Lavelle's playstyle, it's more objective focused and less uh, elimination focused. But I don't know what it is today, but we're seeing a lot more eliminations out of him as he gets third on the round, taking care of this uh, squad almost essentially by himself. Nicely done there from Coach Captain Dawson Lavelle. But of course, Brandon started it off strong here by taking off uh, Big Nutter Butter, allowing the Saints to pick up the bomb again and move forward. So the attack was good. The defense was good. I'm nervous now if you're on the side of Concord University. I mean, they had an okay idea with the last one. Sure, they went down, so they tried to flip it around and go towards B. But unfortunately for them, that last time by, they did kind of get caught with their pants down. One of the players on the Saints, of course, spotting him out. Lavelle going to find himself another. Gets the jump onto Big Nutter Butter again for the second round in a row. He's going to be the first one taken off the field. Having a rough day. And again, he was the bomb carrier too. So the main objective here for the Saints to defend is just exposed so quickly. That being said, they may not have, the Saints may not have spotted it, which may allow Wonks to actually jump down and pick this thing up. You can see that he's so... Nervous about trying to do so because Lavelle right across would be in the balcony. But Wonks is going to be able to jump down, does pick it up, and might be on a crash course here with uh, Priestley actually, who's going to be able to find one. Brandon then finds another. So it's going to be all down to DX Hunter on the side of Concord to make something happen. He does find Brandon, so it's a start. Position given away. He's going to run into Sosnado and he's going to run into Priestley. That's a combo I don't want to have to deal with if I'm a player, and that's going to be round three. Going over to St. Clair. Now back on the attack for the Saints. I'm hoping for the side of Concordia that they pull something together here. Otherwise... Uh, the wounds might be just a little bit too far cut open if it continues like this. I know they tried a little bit of a flanking maneuver last time by, and it just did not find its mark at all. 
Brandon going to move on forward here, right in the same position as last time. Priestley going to uh, safely make his way around. Let's peek into the restricted area, possibly get a sneak attack on the somebody. Of course, can't stay there too long or you just straight up die, basically out of bounds. But this time Lavelle is there on flank duty, but actually just runs right into Wonks, which is going to make things a little bit messy. But Priestley is going to clean that up real quick. Gonna try and go around the outside and actually right on time. Nicely done using the shortcut to his advantage up to the maximum. And then Brandon has that pistol in hand and he's going to make it work for him. Nicely done. That is going to be a 4-0 lead now here for St. Clair. Yeah, this kill right here from, from Priestley was actually sick. Gets the one and then plays through the restricted area right along the pole just long enough to the point where he did not die, but he can make as much distance as possible. You don't expect somebody to make that play, but it just goes to show the amount of time that these Saints players and Priestley in that situation have done to just find all the nooks and crannies here on this Moscow map. Now back on the defense, and if I'm in St. Clair's position, I'm feeling quite comfortable. That's a good start there for Priestley. Again, big Nutter Butter goes down with the bomb. But at least the bomb's in an easy-to-reach uh, area here for Concordia. So they can possibly make themselves uh, retake this quickly. Going to be Brandon looking at the doorway. We see a huge flank actually coming here from Lavelle. Really trying to scope somebody out. We'll have to see if that comes into fruition in a moment. Might force the hand of Concordia. And you can see he's just sharking these players, really taking their time. We're going to see one go right into Priestley. Granted, Priestley is going to go down in that situation. So a nice job there from Wonks to find himself the kill. 30 seconds left on the clock. Two on two to finish this one up. Much better round. All oh, the pre-fire coming out here from Lavelle actually is going to tag Wonks. Python is going to take care of Lavelle, so actually, this is exactly what Concordia University need. Brandon, in the 2v1 clutch, can he pull it off? He's firing away, but he may have given away his position just a little bit too much. Did take care of Wonks. Time is ticking down, though. Can he just run and hide long enough? He's not going to be able to do so. Concordia going to make sure they don't get themselves skunked here and look to try and pull uh, come back together after pulling that round right when they needed to. I mean, I like the flank from Lavelle, did find the one, but unfortunately just left like his other teammates a little bit too long to the point where they did go down. All right, Saints back onto the attack, and oh, this Saucenado, as soon as he pulls aside, Python is right there to shut him up nice and quick. Nice little move there for Python. Oh, mistakes were made, unfortunately, there for Brandon. We definitely did not see that. I don't know what you're talking about. But with that, of course, was the bomb carrier as well. So uh, Saints put themselves in a bit of an awkward position here for this attack to try and clean this up. Bomb right in the windowsill, which I'm sure Python was ready and waiting for. And Priestley going to open fire, takes care of Python. So at least we have ourselves a two on three. Lavelle bomb in hands. Probably just going to try and buddy system up here with Priestley, if I would assume. And I mean, granted, looking at this uh, uh, Concordia squad, they are quite spread out. In theory, if you can take each of them out one on one, you'll still be A-OK -okay moving forward here. DX Hunter and Wonks kind of close. Priestley finds one. He does end up going down, however. Lavelle versus Wonks. Now we have ourselves a one-on-one -on -one with Big Nutter Butter. Lavelle has spotted his position. Eight seconds left. He's going to try and time him out more than likely. And Lavelle is going to try and hunt him down. Can he find him? He's going to be able to do it and clutches it up with seconds to go. Huge play there for Lavelle. Winning the 1v1 necessary to get that game because if he went to try and plant that bomb big nutter butter would have just walked on in and popped him so a huge play to be able to successfully headhunt him down and win that round forcing game point now on to concordia university
possibly the last defense unless Concordia can muster something up here. I mean, they've got the one point on the board, of course. We'll have to see. Moving forward, Priestley, as soon as I turn away, of course, Python goes down. Python having a rough couple of rounds as well now. And with everybody being near the A site, it looks like that we're kind of rotating on in. Priestley going to find one elimination, looking for possibly a second. Not going to quite find it just yet, because Bomb now down. Sasnado going to find himself one more. It's all down to Wonks. Wonks going to try and make something happen. He's going to get one, but it does not matter when there's another one right behind him. Search and destroy. Saints go two for two on the day so far, as we now are going 2-0, getting ready to go into game number three. And I don't know what it is, but Saints are absolutely crushing it so far here in this uh, season opening two matches. I'd like to say this was a back and forth, but that's absolutely not the case here for so or so far. Concordia, very similarly to EIU, um, just straight up not having anything in regards to the hard points, in regards to the search and destroy. Just absolutely brutal, to say the least. It's one of those matches where... I feel like we're probably on break trying to figure out the Call, Call of Duty lobbies longer than it is that we're actually in game. But it just goes to show how damn good this Call of Duty squad is here from St. Clair and that everybody is just on flying colors so far. With that, of course, like I was saying, we do have to put this lobby back together. So, of course, going to throw this to a break real fast. But, of course, before we do, big thank you to the sponsors that do make the St. Clair Saints esports team possible. Of course, that being St. Clair College, the Zuckelman School of Business and Information Technology. PC Outlet, Tim Hortons, and the St. Clair SRC and St. Clair College Alumni Association. And then, of course, big thank you to everybody tuning in for the match today. Always a pleasure being able to broadcast these matches to you day in and day out here on the Saints Gaming CA channel. Of course, make sure you're followed if you haven't already, just to make sure that you catch all of the matches coming up this next week, because it's going to get nuts. But as we throw it to break, I'll throw that schedule up on screen so you can see. And we'll get this lobby going so we don't have to wait too long hopping into Game 3. Hang in there, and we'll get right back with you.